Want to learn which countertops bring the best returns? Keep watching. Kitchen renovations are notorious for breaking the bank, but they don't have to, especially if you're well informed. Hi guys, Nick Casamassimo here. We are in my kitchen and my wife and I did a recent kitchen renovation. In this video, I wanted to go over the importance of countertops and how it could bring massive returns when it comes time to sell. As a broker, I've seen buyers fall in love with a kitchen and put in big time offers. Now think about that. If you have a killer kitchen with killer countertops, you could truly boost the value of the home big time. So when it's time to purchase a countertop, I want you to choose wisely and focus on these two things, pattern and material. Let's start with the materials. So there are a ton of materials out there ranging from granite to quartz to quartzite to butcher block, stainless steel, marble, onyx. And it could be dizzying for a homeowner to choose any one of those materials, but I'll keep it simple for you. Choose either quartz or granite, especially if your home is not in a luxury range. For my kitchen renovation, we chose quartz, mainly because it's no maintenance and it does not stain, especially on the lighter end. I want you to keep in mind that no material uh, when it comes to a countertop is flawless. Uh, quartz, although it's no maintenance and doesn't stain, it's prone to heat. And granite, um, although it's perfect with heat, it can be prone to staining, especially the lighter granites. Second thing I wanna focus on when it comes to countertops is pattern. So pattern is just simply how the countertop looks. For me, quartz is superior when it comes to pattern because it's actually manufactured and not pulled out of the ground. So you have an infinite amount of patterns to truly choose from. My wife and I chose a quartz with a calicata marble pattern. For us, that was really cool because I think that sort of pattern is a timeless, uh, very refined, and anyone that walks in, especially a buyer, is gonna like that. It's not gonna go out of style in five or 10 years. So that was really important to us. And it's a fraction of the cost because it's not really marble. So my tip here is when choosing a pattern, make sure you don't go super trendy because in five, 10 years, guess what? That trend is gonna go out of style and a buyer that comes in is gonna think they're gonna have to replace it and it's gonna affect the value of your home. Now that you picked out your material and pattern, it's easy to blow your budget on the add-on costs. So for example, when it comes to the edge of your countertop, you don't need to bevel it in intricate patterns. You don't need to do a waterfall feature. Um, those things are gonna be an extra cost to you. And to be honest, although they look nice and pretty, a buyer that comes in is really more concerned about the material and the overall pattern. So if you pick a great material and a great pattern, you're gonna satisfy any buyer, I promise. Before I go, I have one bonus tip for you. And that is if you have multiple levels of countertops, just remove the extra three quarter of bar top and have it all one level. Doing so will open up the space and allow people to see more of your kitchen. And there you have it. Don't underestimate the power and beauty of a countertop. If done correctly, you will be able to showcase your kitchen, which in turn will attract a lot of buyers when it's time to sell. And that means higher returns on your investment. Don't believe me? Well, I have before and afters of my kitchen and I'll let the numbers speak for themselves. Okay, that's my time. I wish you all good health and a happy home. Take care. If you got something out of the video, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell. Also go to kazaot.com. Our site and channel together will give you original content and you'll learn the important stuff in real estate, even tips and tricks many agents don't want you to know. Thanks again and take care.